Well, critics are calling season three of the hit Netflix show One Day at a Time its best yet. Yeah, and this year they continue to take on tough topics while bringing the laughs as well, especially from Abuela Lydia, played by Rita Moreno. Take a look. Um, by Jasa. <laughs> She sings like a donkey. <laughs> Mari, Lydia, won't you join me in this song? Oh, well, I don't know if I can sing as beautifully as Judo. Oh, Mari. Imagine saying that about Gloria and Stefan of all people. She, <laughs> she seems like a donkey. I love that line. She's so jealous. Oh, my gosh. It was so good seeing you guys together, oh, too. Oh, and we're good friends. We have a terrific friendship. And uh, she makes me laugh, and uh, I make her laugh. And I just hope she comes back for the next season. Yeah, I, I, was I just say, love her. You have such great guest stars this season. Obviously, she's one of them. She sings the theme song to the show. But had, you, know, you, you know, a lot of people don't know that. Oh, Isn't that really? funny? Oh, I picked that up Gloria immediately. Gloria sings one day at a time. Yeah, but right. you said you guys were friends for a long time. Had you ever acted together, though? No, no. Yeah. We were so anxious to do it. And I love the fact that they hate each other. I know. <laughs> it makes it so much more because fun. Because nobody hates like my character, Lydia. I mean, <laughs> She's such a piece of work. Yes, she is. Yeah, yeah. Could we her. see her in a recurring role, possibly, on the show? Well, I don't know if recurring. She's one of the world's busiest Cubanas. <laughs> yeah. But, but I know we'll see her again. Yeah. yeah if, we, if we get a fourth season, if God is good, uh, she'll definitely be back. Yeah. yeah. She'd love to be back. She wants to be back. It oh, was magic, you guys together. Yeah. And yeah. the fans love it, too. Well, one thing fans love about this show is that it's multi-generational. Um, and they love the relationship between you and your character and your granddaughter. Um, how special is how oh, is it? Oh, oh God, I love those because she's so snotty. <laughs> she's so snotty, but so is her granddaughter. Right. That's what's so funny. They're sort of two peas in a pod, and uh, I love working with uh, her. Yeah. She, isn't she beautiful? She yes. is beautiful. As are you. And boy, she is developing at, in leaps and bounds in terms of uh, acting. Well, the she's ability. surrounded by such great talent. Yeah. Well, so that's true because, you know, uh, Justina is only brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, what best acting partner I've ever had. Oh, she's wow. so good. Yeah, she's Justina. lovely, too. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, I know that the first two seasons were, you know, very high. It had the Critics loved it, fans loved it, both seasons. Um, there's Critics' Choice Award nomination, GLAAD Award nomination, but people are saying that the third season is actually the best season yet. That's what I hear. Do you agree with that? Have you I don't, seen the whole season? I don't know. I really yeah. don't know. I, you know, I've always thought the second season was pretty incredible. Yeah. But then, uh, who knows? Yeah. Who knows? It's it's all funny. But what's wonderful is the balance they have achieved between the funny and the things that touch you. Yeah. And that make you teary. Yeah. Is that it's well, astonishing. Nice balance. Yeah. Well, and you know, we have we have Norman Lear to thank for that. Not the writers are incredible, yeah. but it's Norman who really set the bar. Yeah. yeah, yeah, definitely. Can we talk about your 87th birthday celebration? You posted a video on your oh social goodness. media. <laughs> what was that? I still party can't like? believe that. It well, looked like a lot of fun. Oh God, we had a dance. <laughs> well, we had a dance floor installed just for that. <laughs> And yeah, and there we are. Where are you? Boogieing. This is my house. This oh, is my house. Oh, my oh, gosh. Berkeley, California. Yeah. Very nice. Seems like a nice celebration. And I'm dancing with the most handsome young man, my God. Oh, He's my still got He's it. <laughs> animal. Yeah. Look at him. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's yes. Danny Pino. Uh, yeah, yeah. So the um, the cast for the remake of West Side Story has been announced. How about Very this? Very exciting. Yeah. And Ariana has been cast as uh, the, she's going to play the character that you play in the original. Have you met with her yet? Have no, no, I haven't met. Her? I haven't met any of the kids yet. Oh this no. Is, this is coming up. But I'm. You know, let me just say that uh, that uh, Stephen uh, and, and and Tony. You know who are the writers? Yeah, yeah. Steven Spielberg. Yeah. Right. And Tony Kushner, who yeah, wrote Tony Kushner, Angels yeah. in America really have bent themselves into pretzels trying to find Hispanic people. They don't have to be Puerto Rican. It's wonderful if they are because all of the sharks are. Yeah. yeah. All of them, which I'm thrilled about. But that doesn't, you know, she isn't. She's Colombian, but she's Hispanic. Yeah. That's what you want. Yeah. And she's 17. That's what you want because this is Romeo and Juliet. Yeah. Juliet was a little girl. I know. And the boy. Romeo was a child. They were yeah. both children. So uh, that's a good part of the effort that Stephen has put into this is 
what that's about. Yeah, and so many people are so excited to see it. I know I can't wait to see it. We're both Jackie excited. Can't oh, I'm, I'm, it. I can't yeah. believe it. Oh. Yeah. yeah, all right. Well, you can catch Rita in One Day at a Time when it begins streaming Friday on Netflix. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'm delighted to be with you. It's always great to have you here. Thank you. <laughs>